Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tarr and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have some quite exciting news, which is that Crossover version 21 has just been released. So if you don't already know, Crossover is one of the two methods that you can use to play Windows games on your M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So the way that Crossover works is that it uses a compatibility layer called Wine. And what this does is that it translates the Windows game API calls into Mac OS API calls. So in theory, Crossover should be able to access much more of the M1 Apple Silicon Mac's resources than say a virtual machine like parallels. So what's interesting is that Crossover 21 now includes Wine version 6.0, which is the latest version of Wine, and this includes several new features and also a whole set of bug fixes too. One of the most exciting new features is the new Vulkan backend for Wine D3D, and this is enabled for 64-bit DirectX 10 or 11 games if DXVK is not enabled. So this is going to be a new fallback for games that aren't compatible with DXVK but require DirectX 10 or 11 to work. So what's great is that a whole bunch of new games are now compatible with Crossover 21, including games like Neo Automata, Halo Master Chief Collection, Skyrim, Titanfall 2, and these games weren't previously compatible with Crossover 20. If you'd like to find out other compatibility with Crossover games on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, please check the Apple Gaming Wiki website where I've put together a full compatibility list of all the games that do work with Crossover, and especially with Crossover version 21. Another new feature is the support for dark mode. So if we flip dark mode on, you can see that the interface turns dark, and then we can flip it back into light. Another feature as well is that we now have support for Xbox Series X and S controllers as well as PlayStation 5 DualSense controllers too if you're running macOS Big Sur 11.3 onwards. Another thing that Crossover has changed is their pricing tier. So previously we had Crossover 1, which was the cheapest tier of Crossover. And this would be valid for a single version, the current version of Crossover that you were buying at the time. And I've always said that this version didn't really make much sense because if you're using Crossover 20 and you did upgrade to macOS Monterey and you didn't get the latest Crossover 21 support, what makes much more sense is to use Crossover Pro, which is their kind of annual subscription service so that you're always kept up to date. So what Codeweavers have done is that they have completely removed the Crossover 1 lowest tier of pricing and they've replaced Crossover Pro with something called Crossover Plus, which is basically their normal annual subscription. So the Codeweavers website only shows now Crossover Plus and also Crossover Life. If you'd like to get a 25% discount, then please follow the link in the description. If you apply the promo code Apple Gaming Wiki, then you'll get a 25% discount. So the elephant in the room is that Crossover 21 does not currently work with macOS Monterey. So macOS Monterey is the next operating system that's going to be available probably in September, October of this year. If you do try to run Crossover, then it's not actually going to work correctly. You won't be able to run any games as you can on Big Sur currently. However, Code Weavers are stating that they expect to be able to offer support for Monterey on Crossover when Monterey does release. So I'm really looking forward to be able to update my operating system and also keep my games running as well. So in order to upgrade to Crossover 21, all you need to do is to obviously purchase Crossover and then log into your account on the website and then go to the download section. Here we can see that Crossover 21 is now released, so we're just going to pick up the zip file here. So once that zip file is downloaded, I'm just going to click on it and it's going to extract. And so what I normally do is to move this into the applications folder. And here I have my Crossover 21 here, so I'm just going to double click on it. So here macOS is just asking me if I'm sure I want to open this, which I do. And if you've had a previous version of Crossover installed, then it's possible for you to simply do a straight upgrade and then the bottles that you already have will also upgrade too. Sometimes it's advised to actually start the bottles again from scratch, but I personally have not found an issue just doing a straight upgrade. So once that's complete, you should have the version of Crossover 21 working, and then you'll be able to start playing some Windows games on your M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So if you do plan to play Windows games through Crossover on your M1 Apple Silicon Mac, then I do recommend checking out my Crossover Advanced Setup video. And this goes through all of the tips and tricks for getting the most out of games running through Crossover on your M1 Apple Silicon Mac. I'm also hoping to get people to come and look at my new benchmarking channel. So this is just dedicated to M1 Apple Silicon games. What I've done is I've tested a lot of crossover games especially lately all of these are crossover 21 beta games all of these will work on the full retail release of crossover 21 as well i'll leave a link to this channel in the description as well as the benchmark playlist which this is all part of so over the next few weeks i'm going to be doing additional testing for crossover 21 if you have any requests please leave a comment if you think that there are any games that will actually work then please let me know and i'll give it a go so a lot of the information that i'll be talking about today will be listed in the crossover article 
on the Apple Gaming Wiki website, please take a look at it. It has some fixes for alternate game launches like Origin and Epic Games Launcher, which will require some tweaking in order to get working. And we also have tips on how to enable things like DirectX 11, DXVK, and frame rate tracking as well. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.